What's up, everybody? My name is LB The Realist. For those of you that don't know, this is Surrealistic Studios, where the real is surreal. Thank you for joining me. So on our next segment here, as you may have gleaned from the title, I want to talk about Cardi B. Now, I made a video about Cardi B some time ago, and I, I reported on the fact, I follow her on Instagram, and I reported on the fact that one time on her Instagram Live, I caught her making some remarks against the United Nations in regards to the Libyan slave trade. And I had took notice that Cardi B is actually really fucking intelligent. But behind the whole facade and the makeup and the fake tits and the attitude and the, the, the celebrity star status, she is a real ass individual. I must admit, I was one of those people that were skeptical about Cardi. Whenever she spoke, it kind of irritated me. You know, I was like, why is she, why is she talking like that? You know, I, you know, and I just, she blew up, you know, off of a show or something like that. And I didn't watch the show. So I didn't, I wasn't into it like that. So I was kind of, I didn't know about her. I'm starting to know about Cardi B now. I, I, I respect her, her, her drive, her ambition, her motivation. I respect her as an individual wholeheartedly, and I even respect her even more because of this. She's winning the hearts and minds of America, person by person. Now recently, TYT, the Young Turks, just did a video about Cardi B. Rational National had to do his piece about Cardi B. She recently made a comment about uh, the importance of Social Security and uh, the person who brought it to us, uh, JFK. And she even got the attention of Bernie fucking Sanders. So Bernie Sanders tweeted, uh, let me see if I can find that tweet for you real quick. Just so you guys know what he said. If you don't already, that is. Um, it'll be good for reference at least. Uh, So, let's see what he says. He said, Cardi B is right. And he also thanks her. This must be a... Okay, here we go. He says, Cardi B is right. If we are really going to make America great, we need to strengthen Social Security so that seniors are able to retire with the dignity they deserve. He said, thanks to I am Cardi B for calling attention to the importance of Social Security. Cardi B from the Bronx. That's half my family. Half my family is Puerto Rican. We're from the Bronx. I've never been there, but my mom and them has. Uh, this is what she actually said. Uh, well, let me see. Yeah, here we go. Here's the real Make America Great Again president. Because if it wasn't for him, older Americans wouldn't even get Social Security. And she's talking about, I'm sorry, um, FDR. Franklin D. Roosevelt is who she's referring to. FDR is the real Make America Great Again president. Because if it weren't for him, older Americans wouldn't even get Social Security. That's what Cardi B just recently said. And it caught the attention of Bernie Sanders. Now, I told you guys she had already spoke words on her Instagram Live about the Libyan slave trade. Um, I'll go ahead and play that for you real quick just so you guys know if you don't already I, know, I don't think I played the video last time so you guys can you guys here, I'll show it to you I'm waiting to get that full attention and then I'm gonna say something <laughs> And after I say something, I'm logging off because, you know, I got a, I got the studio set up in my room so I can make some songs and whatever. It's funny because <laughs> I used to hate the way she talked, but now, now that I know how intelligent she is, <laughs> she just makes me laugh. All right, so here we go. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the United Nations... Never mind they fucking business. They always on somebody business, some bullshit all the time. I don't understand why they not making it um they problem or a priority. 
to help what's going on in Libya. You want to know why they're not making it priority or you want to know why they haven't tried to uh, help Libya? Because Libya has not had um, a president or have had any type of government running them for a, 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 kind of a long time like right now, almost two years, right? And nobody cares. You want to know why they don't care? Because it's convenient for them. It's convenient for them because they want free resources. They want they free they want they free um goods, and that's why they don't give a fuck. That's why it's like until they get exposed on CNN, that's why they want to act like yeah they're having a type of meeting and shit. They want to do these fake meetings with these cameras and shit like they helping and they care and they don't give a fuck. It's been, this shit been happening for a long time. Remember when the nigga that was, um, I don't know if he was fast. Was he fast as the nigga that was running Libya? Didn't he have, like, long hair? That's the nigga that was running Libya, right? Gaddafi. That nigga been, been gone. And since then, nobody, nobody been controlling Libya. So a lot of fuck shit been going on. And nobody cares. None of the United Nations, none of those countries that's in the United Nations care to help them. You want to know why? Because it's convenient for them, for that country not to have no type of government or no type of somebody running that country for their resources. And that's a motherfucking fact. And you want to know something? They might kill me for this, but it's a fact. It's a motherfucking fact. What's going on over there is shameful and disgusting. And, and us, the people, as much as we say, pray for this, pray for this, pray for that, it's just like we can't really, we can't, it seems like sometimes we just can't really help. But those people, the United Nations and these countries, they could help. They just don't fucking want to because it's convenient for them. It's convenient for them not to help. It's convenient for them not to help them get government. It's convenient to get for them not to get a president or nothing, blah, blah, blah. Because they want their resources. And that's a fact. That's from Cardi B. Cardi B the rapper. Cardi B the ex-stripper. Cardi B from that show that I don't even know what the title is. Love and Hip Hop and Basketball on that. That's, that's what she said on Instagram Live. She broadcasted that to her followers. If you don't get... If you don't get why that's important, the magnitude of that event that took place on Instagram. That's why she said they might kill me for this because they're not supposed to they're not supposed to be talking like this. She's supposed to be selling records. She's supposed to be half naked on camera somewhere shaking her ass twerking. She's not supposed to be speaking on the the United Nations and, and the, the Libyan slave trade. She's not supposed to be speaking on uh, uh, the, the, the social security. So Cardi B um, actually made some more comments. This is a short one. I want to play this. Again, this is Cardi B. I believe this is on her uh, Instagram or one of her lives. Check this out. Right, before I take this makeup off and I start looking fucking ugly again, let me just tell you this about this situation that's going on right now, right? Everybody's doing suggestions, everybody talking about on what we should be doing, and it seems like, damn, we really don't know what to do, though. All these suggestions, but it's like, fuck, if we get violent and everything, it's really not gonna solve nothing. It's actually gonna prove. I'm sorry. We just really don't know what to do, though. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just funny to me. It's funny to me. The opposition, they point on what they try to prove about the minorities. We have done peaceful marches, and it seems like it worked temporarily, but then they hit us with the side. It didn't work, bitch. <laughs> but one thing we could do for sure is let's pray. Let's pray to Jesus Christ. Let's pray to God. Let's pray to whoever the fuck you believe in, man. I love being American. I love being America. Like, come on now. We're one of the most influential countries in the world like there's countries that really don't fuck with us at all and we what we gonna show them our weakness <laughs> okay <laughs> so like that's what i'm talking about 
She speaks truth to power. Like she's actually talking about issues. She's holding it down. And I'm I'm so fucking proud. I'm proud because that's one of the things that I called for. I called for more celebrities and more people with money and power and influence to speak out on these matters because it don't it don't matter how fucking loud I scream. You know, when I start getting, you know, too amped up and irate, then, you know, people want to call me angry black man. I need to calm down. I need to be more professional. I need to do this. I need to do that. People start looking at me weird, like I'm a threat, like I'm violent. Celebrities do it. People listen to them. People listen to celebrities. Cardi B had recently said something, or uh, Denzel Washington recently just told Cardi B, to be true to herself. And the internet went fucking crazy. Fucking nuts. Just because Denzel said it. Denzel said it? Oh, shit. I guess she must be really true to herself. Then she, she gotta be. If Denzel said to, she... You know, like, people listen to celebrities. And people with money and power and influence. It, it sucks. But it just so happens that people gravitate and, you know, uh, listen to those people the most. The people that have everything. So, as long as we have people like Cardi B... Speaking out, we're we're heading in a in a I, I'm, I call myself a realist, but I'm I'm very optimistic at this point. I'm I'm optimistic that there's there's artists out here that will speak out that do have, uh, they might not have a lot of political know uh, knowledge or they may not have went to school, but they are smart enough to know what the fuck is going on in our country and abroad. They're that they are conscious. Some of them are, and Cardi B is one of them. And I, again, I'm so fucking proud. I can't wait to hear what else she has to say. I hope that this actually goes further than just a few articles or a few comments. I hope that she takes it to the next step. And I'm very anxious, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like this video if you like, share it if you like it even more, and subscribe if you love it. And um, remember the love from your hearts. Remember, spread that peace, spread that enlightenment, keep fighting. Fight for what's right. Fight for love. Fight for justice. Fight for peace. Fight for each other. Alright, until next time, i see you guys on the next one. Peace.